Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So in this video I'm going to share a February haul. It's a late February haul to cover things that I purchased in late January and February. So um, that's one thing and then I've got a very special feature where I am introducing and featuring this lamp, um, the BenQ lamp that you can hopefully see um, in the small cutout there and um, it's a great lamp called a e-reading LED lamp and I'm going to go through um, a few things about that in this whole video. Okay, so first of all let's start with what I actually bought colouring supplies wise. So I've just put my little cat to the side there. So first things that I bought um, were from Colt Pens it's one of the common shops that I keep uh, purchasing things from because they have really nice pens, pencils, etc. So um, I got another silver um, Uniball gel pen. I really like the Uniball gel pens. They work really well. They don't skip, and they just um, they're just a really a delight to work with. So I got a replacement of that, and then I also got another silver. Um, Sakura uh, jelly roll there so it's a metallic silver because I can never have too many silvers I also bought a metallic black that you can see here I know they've got a glittery top which is a bit confusing but the glittery top ones are actually the metallic ones so that's the metallic and um, I think this is a copper metallic maybe bring you in a little bit and then what else did I get? I got an m &R sharpener, a new one, because um, I've already got one of these, but I just wanted to get another one as a spare, and I did purchase some blades, so you can actually get these blades from Cult Pens at a very good price, and the actual sharpeners at a very good price as well. So definitely look into that if you're on the lookout for a sharpener. Um, an m, &R, m &R, one of the best sharpeners out there, I think. And then, excuse the noise but these are some replacement glaze pens that I got um, you can see I've got several reds there because I used them quite a lot a few greens and I think I purchased three black ones as well because the black jelly roll glaze is just absolutely uh, gorgeous so bring you out again hope I'm not making you sick and then before I forget the last thing that I bought from Colt Pens was um, this Caran d'Ache um, blender so I do have the full blenders um, if I got one here to show you probably can't find it when I'm looking actually I've got it here yet so this is the um, it's a bit smaller as you can see now but this is the full blender by Caran d'Ache and then this is the wood covered one and um, yeah they, they're both really good I think to me personally I, I, I find it better to use this one really compared to the full blender I prefer sharpening as well sharpening the one with the um, wooden barrel compared to the full blender for some reason I just prefer it so that's what I purchased from Colt Pens um, the links for everything will be down below including the links for the um, BenQ lamp which I received um, as a free sample in exchange for an honest review so these are the things that I purchased from uh, Tonic Studios online where I purchase all manner of glitters and things like that I purchase glitters um, these Nouveau crystal drops so there's several of these Nouveau products there's actually um, maybe get, bring you in a slightly closer um, I've got this Nouveau glitter drops which are absolutely beautiful um, and then you've got the dream drops as well some more dream drops that was dream drops where's the colour somewhere here it will be there it is indigo eclipse so dream drop drops indigo eclipse then another dream drops here which is um, just called dream drops this one 
and then another Nouveau Dream Drops which is called Love Potion so I got them three they are quite pricey I think they're about six pounds um, for one bottle but their bottles are quite big so they will last you ages and they give a very beautiful effect um, I have forgotten the little swatch sheet which I'm going to go and get in a second to show you and then I got the Nouveau um, what is it what is it Crystal Drops Duck Egg Blue and then the Glitter Drops um, this is just called Silver Crystals and then I just got some of this Nouveau Pure Sheen Glitter which is um, just loose glitter basically I just really like the colour and it was for a cheaper price it was on sale so I purchased it so I'm just going to go and get my um, swatches for you so I don't think I've done a swatch of this pure sheen glitter but I have got swatches of all these um, different types of Nouveau drops uh, so I'll just show you that so then this one bring it up to the camera here this one here is Dream Drops Love Potion so it's like a pinkish colour You've got Dream Drops Cloud 9, Dream Drops Fairy Wings, which is quite similar to the Cloud 9 one. Um, I can't really tell the difference that much. This is a bit more pink, but then they look very similar to me. Um, Dream Drops Indigo Eclipse. And then, oh, I really like this one, the, the Glitter Drop Silver Crystal. I can actually see the glitter pieces in them. And then the Nouveau Crystal Drops Duck Egg Blue. Now these are dimensional, so you know they are raised, um, they're not flat, but they would be great for PDF pages or I suppose single sided pages will, will be okay and just put some paper behind it when you colour the other image. So those were all from Tonic Studios. So I shall put them to the side. So what else did I get? So from Amazon, I got this um, wooden box. And the reason I got this wooden box was because I generally colour on the couch, uh, on the sofa, in front of the TV. Um, and I just have like a desk, a small little um, desk there that I just work on. Um, it's just like a a little table nothing special nothing it's something that can just put to this be put to the side um, and so on the coffee table near me I, I want to have the things that I use near me so all my accessories so I have got a separate video coming up on the accessories I keep in here but for now um, just to say that I got this from Amazon and it's really nice because you know all the things I need I can just put in there so that was one thing that I purchased um, and then another couple of things I purchased from Amazon were um, this which is the uh, Dragonfly Glaze and I'm just going to show you a swatch of that because I did do one so this is um, by Fork Art so it's this colour changing top coat so you do actually put this as a top coat on you know in a acrylic paint or really anything I, I even tried it on pencil so I'll show you what that looks like and then I also got the um, uh, four cart color shift which is acrylic paint metallic gloss finish and it's a silver flash um, one that I purchased so those two I just wanted to rather than get a full pack I just wanted to try them out so that's the four cart color shift you can see when it's on its own that's the sort of colour that you get. It is silver but you can see this pale pink colour on top of black Posca. It looks pretty much similar to me over black acrylic and, and over another pink chiffon acrylic paint. And then the Dragonfly Glaze, if you don't put anything underneath it, that's what it looks like. Uh, just a very fine glitter. On top of some pencil, it just accentuates the colour of the pencil I feel and makes it glittery and then over black acry acrylic um, I don't know if you can pick that up actually I can see it but I don't know if the camera you can see the actual it just looks bluish there and then over pink chiffon and over black Posca so yeah those are those two speciality paints right so here I'm going to put in my little uh, special feature of the uh, Ben Q uh, e-reading LED lamp 
In this segment, I'm going to discuss the e-reading lamp that I received from BenQ. Um, so I received a free sample of this in exchange for an honest review. So basically, BenQ is a large corporation that specialises in a broad range of products, services and solu solutions, such as making digital projectors, monitors, mobile computing devices and LED lighting, such as this lamp that you've got here. So um, I'm going to go through a few features of the lamp. So it's an e-reading desk lamp, an LED one, and I'm going to go through the features and why um, I personally believe that it is quite a good buy for our colouring hobby. So um, here is the sort of circular power button which you just touch on and uh, you can turn off with touch. Um, and then what we have is this rotary dial that you can see here and that is adjustable for brightness. At the moment I've got it on quite bright and then if I turn it anti-clockwise I hope you can see it, it goes dimmer. Okay, so that is getting dimmer. I can get it brighter again as well, so brighter and dimmer. Now, the other feature of this lamp is, um, apart from the adjustable dimming feature, is that if you press this rotary dial you can adjust the um, colour tone so you can make it warmer. For example, say in the evening when um, you just want it to be more relaxing and you can make it to warmer or cooler light like this. So the warmness of the um, light can be adjusted as well. And then when you want, when you've found the tone that you like, so for example, I'm quite happy with this one, then I'll press it again and then I can adjust the um, brightness to where I want it. So that's that's really great. Then you've got this arm here which is also uh, fully adjustable um, how you want which I shall hopefully remember to do in a, in a moment but that is fully adjustable and you can adjust the actual lamp here as well to where you want it. Okay. Um, the other thing is uh, you can actually use the automatic dimming mode. So, what will if you say press this um, on and off switch, but you press it for two seconds like this? Oops, I've switched it off. Just bear with me. So, this orange indicator light comes on. That orange indicator light. Um, when it lights up orange, means that the lamp automatically adjusts to the um, you know ambient lighting condition and gives you the optimal brightness so you don't have to set it it'll set it automatically to the best lighting conditions for you so this is a picture that I'm currently coloring and you can see how detailed the image is uh, the image is it's from the mythographic frozen fantasies um, and of course the the best thing for me is good lighting because without good lighting you're not going to get a great colouring experience so I would probably leave it on this being the best feature that for me personally um, this adjustable automatically providing the optimal brightness for for the colouring um, there are I'm going to go through why specifically for colouring apart from that feature that I've just mentioned which is personally my preference most you know sold it to me basically um, the best thing that I find with this um, is the lamp itself from the shape of it as you can see um, is gives a really wide lighting coverage this is all sort of lit up my whole area um, there's enough lighting so that my eyes don't feel feel strained um, so that will reduce eye fatigue, especially for um, older people like myself, when um, you know presbyopia, nearsightedness becomes more of an issue. Um, and uh, I like the fact that you can adjust to the warmer tones, say if you want the warmer tones in the evenings, um, and it just gives you a more just you know a more enjoyable colouring experience. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this lamp at this setting. I'm just going to bring the camera in a little bit so that you can see the features that I'm going to colour. So I'm going to colour these tiny little flowers. Can I bring you in any more? Let me see. There we go. So let's go with, say, light pink. 
pink. So I'm using fine liners for these detailed bits. So yeah, so I mean, you know, if you followed my channel for any length of time that I really like detailed pictures. And of course, um, great lighting is an essential feature for colouring your detailed pictures for obvious reasons. And then we're going to go over these circular bits, which I'm just going to go like that. Um, looking good and then in the centre I'm going to have a purple Let's try to use a limited palette on this picture so yeah I thought I'd do a tiny little demo of it um, so there we go coloured piece and we we'll do the rest in those colours of course because I've got them on the other side but back to the lamp so um, the best setting for me like I said for this lamp is the um, automatic adjustment feature where I've got the orange light on here um, and the on and off of course so the on and off and when you do switch it off it remembers and um, it will go back to the um, original setting that you left it on so it remembers it so it gives me the best sort of vivid and bright colors I can see my colors clearly what they are and then you know choose the ones appropriate for me of my choice um, for the sides which I think they're I mean a few negatives there's not really that many negatives to be honest um, and I would say that the touch sensor here is quite close to the on and off switch so sometimes you might just knock the on off switch accidentally um, but that might just be because of the way that I've angled it here um, just need to be a bit more careful um, for me personally the base of the lamp is quite heavy as well so it's not as portable um, but I guess that's not going to be a major issue because most people have a colouring space and they will just leave it on their desk in one place so yeah I highly recommend um, this e-reading desk lamp and thank you to BenQ for sending me a free sample and for collaborating with me I really appreciate it so um, I'm gonna sort of continue now with my um, haul okay so back to the haul and back to going through some of the books that I bought so the first one is of course Fragile World which you know everybody was really looking forward to and they weren't disappointed so this is by Kirby Rosans and um, it's got of course all the endangered or near threatened or critically endangered animals so most of you will have obviously seen this and purchased it it's quite a few great flip throughs on YouTube that you can have a look at um, I do really like this book um, I mean I like any of Kirby's books to be honest um, but I would still say Worlds Within Worlds is my favourite. This is one that I've done. Um, you'll see that in more detail in um, my end of February completed pictures. Um, yeah, it's his art and his art is beautiful. So yeah, that's one of the books that I purchased. So Fragile World um, from Amazon. And then... Um, I finally got the Creative Haven Butterflies. I was waiting on Amazon for ages to, to, to receive this and um, it never came um, for some reason and so then I cancelled it and ordered it from Book, the book Depository. So yeah, um, love Creative Haven books. That's one again that you'll see in the end of February complete pictures. Um, used a lot of sort of, you know, the usual stuff that I use, metallics etc gel pens so lovely um, butterflies in here of course butterflies are one of my favorite um, animals or insects so that's by Marjorie Sarnat and then Creative Haven Sea Life Wonders 
was another one that I purchased at Creative Haven. Um, and yeah, it's, everything's on a black background here and I like that. It's a black matte background. So if you wanted to put like anything on there like pencil to show up, you could do. I really like the sky here, you know, the little sort of effects. So yeah, I haven't coloured in this one yet. Going to have to colour in this yet. Got a lot of books to colour in. So Sea Life Wonder and sorry that was by Lindsay Boylan. Then I think it was Emma 2020 that I um, saw flip through, if I'm not mistaken, I saw her flip through this beautiful book, um, Exotische Urworld. Might have said that wrong. So it's a German book. I did wait quite a while for this book to arrive, but it was worth it. It's by Good Wives and Warriors um, and it's just an absolutely beautiful book um, and I'm so you know, pleased that I watched her video because I finally took the plunge in getting it because I had seen it before because it's not a new book but um, I don't know when I saw it on her channel I really liked it I just, I thought right I'm going to get this book it's good paper as well um, just my sort of book really one of the most favourite pictures in here that I like are the the first double page spread I think it is it's this one which is like a the map of the world in like flowers and just beautiful leaves and things like that so this is one big project that I would really like to do because I think that would come out amazingly uh, it is double sided but like I say the paper is of good quality this is another one of my favourite the frogs I like frogs. So yeah, that's Exotisha Erworld. Um, it's by Good Wives and Warriors. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's that one. And then the final book to show you is another um, book by Marjorie Sarnat. And this is called Elegant Elephants Day and Night Colouring Book. So the reason I got this is because we have some of the pictures on black backgrounds. And what I like about this is that for these parts here that are on the black background I envisage using like fluorescent gel pens or you know the moonlight gel pens from Sakura or metallic paints because I think they will come out really well um, and the, although it's thinner paper I think a little bit of metallic paints won't you know cause too much of a problem in terms of crinkling it or anything so yeah lots of lovely elephants on there um, and I like the black background on there and then you've got the white you've got them on the white background as well should you want to colour on the white background um, I haven't actually coloured in this book yet so that's another book to look forward to colouring in I definitely need to colour colour in it though um, and that's it really that's my haul um, once again thank you so much for watching and for all your support all the links and description to the products featured in this video, including the BenQ e-reading LED lamp, will be included below. And thanks once again to BenQ for collaborating with me. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.